Dave Palumbo with Muscle Serpents University. And guys, I want to give you a little lesson on the banana coral glow gene. Uh, one of my favorites in the ball python arena. Uh, I just bred um, a honeybee female, and that's a hypo melanistic, or as we say, hypo spider, okay, with a coral glow or banana, same gene. A lot of people use it interchangeably, and it's supposed to be used interchangeably. It's the same gene. All the top breeders now are kind of saying coral glow slash banana. So um, once again, if you have a coral glow, you have a banana, we're talking about the same gene. The banana or coral glow spider head hypo is the father. Okay, so that's a three gene animal, or I should say two gene animal carrying the gene for hypomelanism. When I bred them, we got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Now if you look, this is a banana. This is a regular banana morph or coral glow, interchangeable. And it carries the hypomelanistic gene, or hypogene. So it's 100% head hypo. Uh, you don't really see that gene, but you do see the banana. And banana in and of itself is a gorgeous gene. Uh, this is one of my favorite morphs. Um, you could just see all these purples and splashes of color in here. And this is just a really, really impressive looking animal in and of itself. And uh, this is available if people want to purchase it. This, this baby was born about four or five weeks ago. And in the same litter, we got something called a spider banana or a coral glow banana same thing we'll call it a coral glow spider and as you can see if you compare it to this banana it has the same coloration except it's got the spider patterning with all this kind of like little webbing and, and kind of brightness down here that you get with the spider gene so this kind of has this spider gene has enhanced the banana once again this is a hundred percent het hypomelanistic as well because the mother uh, was a hundred percent hypo uh, so it carries the gene. And then we went one step further and we got, we lucky, we got hit pay dirt here. And we got the, what we would call a honeybee, okay, banana or honeybee coral glow. What this basically is, is the same as this with the hypomelanistic gene. So it's a banana spider and hypomelanistic. And we call that a honeybee banana or honeybee coral glow. And you can see this purple got lighter and it turned to a very, very light beige. And that's what the hypomelanistic gene does. It's less melanin. It dilutes down, it's like almost you throw a turpentine on it, it dilutes down the darkness and makes it lighter. And so this is a three gene animal. This is a powerhouse, this is a male, and he carries those three genes, one being the recessive. He Basically I hit you know the lottery ticket with this one. We got all the genes we were looking for. This one, we got two of the genes we were looking for, and this carries, is a carrier for that third gene, that hypomelanistic gene. This happens to be a female. Now most bananas, as you know out there, are males, because it's a sex-linked uh, trait. So the banana gene is on, uh, carried on the chromosome or the sex chromosome. Um, every once in a while, because of genetic mutation or what we call gene crossover, when the, uh, the male and female uh, gametes are being produced, you'll get a switch. And we got lucky, we got a female here. So this is a female banana spider, and she's available as well. And if you guys would like to uh, purchase any of these, you can contact me at huge285 at AOL.com. And I'm hoping you're liking the Muscle Serpents University. And if you do, like us below. Uh, but for now, we're out of time. I'm Dave Palumbo with Muscle Serpents University.